Hi, Leo. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. If this is your first time arriving to the channel, please subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I upload all the content and you know when I go live, which look right now is looking like sometimes it happens randomly. So <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you come. Let's, Leo, let's get right into your reading. This is for Leo sun, moon, and rising sign, or wherever Leo influences your chart. You can take this energy for the next seven days, and you can apply it to that section of your chart. If it doesn't fit, please don't squeeze it. This is not one size fits all. It's a general reading. FYI, I keep it very general, and I like to, I like to keep it generic. It's not that I don't want to give you specific uh, answers, but the bottom line is, in other words, I will be specific about the energy, but I will try as, as hard as I can to not make it all about romance or all about career. It will be a general energy that you can apply to whatever's going on in your life. So crowning your reading is watch your words, but it's in reverse. So this could be ta somebody talking shit about you. You could be talking shit about somebody else. This could be something about words um, being used to sort of like, you know, aim at you this week for the next seven days. So watch what happens with words or even, even stumbling over your words, not knowing what to say, not being able to get the right words together, somehow words not working for you, which is odd because we have a full moon in Gemini. So it could very well be you deciding to do away with words that words aren't working for you or that it has to be more than words. Remember that song? More than words, what, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like listen to the lyrics, but I can hear it in my head now. It could very well be the mentality of more than words, right? That words aren't going to be enough, that they just sort of fall short this week because what you really want is action. And it's almost like maybe somebody's words will fuel you into action. Be careful because the words are not necessarily accurate. And it could just be used to get, get under your skin and fuel you into action. But definitely there's this, there's this sense of words having a sort of um, catalyst, being a catalyst this week um, for something that might explode or could potentially you know it, it may not get you into trouble it could potentially just I say that only because there's an impulsivity about the words that might be used that might not be as accurate as you need to make the decisions you make to do the actions that you do um I know that's really ambiguous watch your words upright is very very easy but in reverse there's a lot of implications predominantly being that words are not going to serve you over the next seven days. This week, you are not best served by words. So you very, very well may be, as I stumble over my words, uh, excuse me, because I have my Leo, <laughs> my Mercury is in Leo. Um, there is this sort of like this rub when it comes to words, something that somebody says just not sitting right with you. Maybe something that somebody had already said just not sitting right to you. But I know I honestly feel this is something that's going to come in over the next seven days, particularly over the next three days that you might have to just let go. Let the words go. Let it be only words. That's the way it would best be served is just to hear it and release it. Let it go, let the full moon carry it away, especially over the next three days. Let the words fall to the wayside because it really is a bunch of BS that you don't have to waste your time on, Leo. They're not gonna matter. Look at this, a bird can't fly like this. This is almost like him being blown away by the wind, you know? So it's saying predominantly, let those words go because they're only gonna have meaning if you give them meaning. And if you give them meaning, it's probably gonna be pop-offish and reacting, making something bigger than it needed to be, it doesn't need to be. These are just words. If you're on platforms that allow for commercials, I'll sneak one in here. Thank you, because that actually helps to support the channel. So thank you for your patience, and I'll be back in about 30 seconds. 
So either welcome back, thank you so much for being patient through the commercial, or yay, you got lucky, you didn't have to watch one. Um, think on your feet. Yeah, this is Sagittarius energy still. This is Sagittarius season. But Leo, this is about not being impulsive. Don't be impulsive. Whatever these words are, whatever somebody says, whatever you hear, right? Because in reverse, the like really benign meaning to this card could also be listen, don't speak. Listen, it's very, very important. But also, bottom line, do not act impulsively. So this is think through things. Be methodical, be practiced, and you ever hear that expression, breathe in and exhale before you make a decision or count to 10 before you react. There's going to be a definite need to do that or to put yourself in the habit of doing that this whole week because this is about being settled, being calm, listening and hearing something out, hearing somebody out or wanting somebody to hear you out because you feel like they like they seriously misunderstood you and misquoted you. Mm. Interesting how this reading unfolds. Leo, 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 Leo. There comes more. Oh wow. Big reading. Okay. Get more. More to the story. You see clearly now. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. There is, an, there is something that there's something that wasn't right. There's something that wasn't right, and you need to sit on it and you need to think about it. And as you think about it and as you regard it in its full set, is it in, it in its full sort of execution? As you watch it and you don't rush through it. There's an, there's an energy of understanding it and comprehending it and actually being able to learn from it and take wisdom from it. Take something from it that normally, you know, you, you, you wouldn't have done if you rushed by it. So very much listening and paying close attention and holding on to your impulsivity and watching. It's almost like owls see in the dark. This is about seeing something very clearly, Leo, something becoming very, very obvious to you that wasn't obvious before. And it's because you took a second look. It's because you took a more um, inquisitive look. You, you um, dove deep, maybe even microscopically, um, looked into things, could be numbers, could be some kind of data, something, um, some kind of metrics. You wanted to understand and inquire there was something that was not making sense to you and really helped you to go and to actually do a full-blown analysis of it. This is Aquarian energy. So this is seeing something from an interesting point of view, a unique point of, a unique perspective, maybe listening to a unique perspective that normally would have gotten blown over or being who you are, being in a position to be able to amplify this unique perspective that normally would have not been listened to, but because it's associated with you or because you can share this word or this knowledge with people, well, now, now people see, now people understand, now people are willing to listen. It's almost like you helping to bring attention to something that could have been on the insidious side. You know, it's, it's owls. Remember, owls hunt mice. Owls hunt pests. They see them, they get them. So there's this energy of either somebody doing that for you, pointing out that there's somebody that's in your vicinity or somebody's talking shit about you. Somebody's talking about you, letting you know that and helping you to understand it and work through it before you react. Or just this is the mentality of you finding it out and before you react, helping yourself to understand it or to comprehend it. And then you being able to cast light upon the whole situation because of who you are, but doing it from that, doing it from that place of objectivity and inquiry, as opposed to um, ac uh, accusation or stone throwing. That's not 
that's not going to work this week. What's going to work this week is almost an academic analysis in some way of what's happening. Try to remain as objective as possible. That's a beautiful Aquarian trait, actually, is the, the, their ability to be able to remove themselves emotionally and look at things, not just pragmatically, intellectually. Look at them as bits of information instead of things that might hurt you. So if somebody is critical of you this week, Leo, you'll be able to look at it objectively and see where it's coming from. Interesting energy. Vulture, nothing is wasted. These are two very wise birds. So I do feel a lot of wisdom and understanding coming through. And I think what this is, is you're not going to waste this opportunity. In other words, you're going to use this opportunity. You're going to use this incident as an opportunity to learn instead of this sense of, of feeling defeated somehow or, or taking the criticism per. Uh, personally instead you're going to be able to turn this around and gain something from it whether whether or not it's friendly and it probably isn't going to be extremely friendly this sort of criticism these sort of words that are being used to un undermine you to some degree maybe not maliciously but they're definitely not things that anybody wants to hear but there's this sense of you this week being like a really exceptional listener and saying what can I learn from this? What can I gain? I feel like there's some sort of, not necessarily loss, like a, yeah, like a, a professional loss. Maybe you didn't get the job that you wanted or you weren't the one that was chosen as an employee of the month. You know, maybe that's the sense this week and you trying to understand it as opposed to taking it personally. Slow and steady wins the race. This is an energy of you've learned over many years. This is a mature, emotionally mature energy. I think of the King of Cups when I think of this card. It's very emotionally mature. It's sound. It's secure in itself. It doesn't need the constant feedback from everybody else to feel good about yourself. So this could actually be that game-changing point when energies shift and you finally overcome people's criticisms of you. And you prove them wrong, but it's not a ha 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 moment. It's not a, not a moment, look, see what I can do. It's a moment of, I earned this. I deserve this. And haters going to hate. Critics are going to criticize. Ultimately, I do this and I am this person because this is what I believe in and I believe in myself. So it, it, is, a, it is a mentality, Leo, of the wholeness of, of solidity in your own sense of self, which you could say you guys always have, but that's not always true. And your egos can take some serious hits. Not this week. And it's not because somebody isn't trying. It's because you're not letting it affect you. Ooh, I love that energy. Know your worth. Isn't that just the truth? Isn't exactly what this whole entire reading is about. This very strong peaceful energy of this is who I am. I don't have to hide who I am for somebody else. You love me as I am. You love me for who I am. You may say that I stink. Okay. But I'm me and I'm still here and you still can't take your eyes off of me. So whether I stink or not, I guess you like the stink because you still can't take your eyes off of me. This is not letting somebody else somebody else's labels on you get to you not at all feeling real good spirit has a plan i think this is the higher sense of self this is the solidity in yourself it's a really grounded understanding piece once again this is like om shanti position this is like lotus position that he's sitting in in the tree he's just got this sense of i know who i am knowing who you are it's funny even if something really breaks through for you that's positive this week, there's going to be this level of calm in your perception of things. 
because you've reached a point where you don't need the validation because who you are and what you do isn't about validation anymore. It was. I think this was for a long time. There's this sense of looking back a little bit and understanding, wow, if this was even just five years ago, I, I would have reacted totally differently. But now, I'm going to do me because I love it and I love who I am. So thank you for praising me or peace out for criticizing me. Either way, this is me. There's a lot of that energy going around this week. It's a, it's a peacefulness. It's a calm. It's like in this chaos and craziness, there's a, there's a, there's a halt almost. An ability to almost like matrix style slow things down so you can see them better interesting life is speeding up so good stuff is taking off you're making progress what did I keep saying breakthrough you're making a breakthrough you could be dealing with a Gemini or this could just be Gemini energy because of the Gemini full moon so expect to gain some momentum around the full moon for things to become very clear to you. Even if they're unsavory things, it's okay because now you know how to fix them. Now you know what to work through. Everything that happens over the next seven days is going to somehow hit you in a way that is purposeful. That you can, you can, if I had to label this as anything, it's ingenuity. Everything that comes at you this week is going to be an inspiration for you to make something work or move something forward. Your entire self is about progress this week. That's very Gemini energy. Grounding you. Trust the great mystery. Trust the great mystery. You've dived deep. And I feel like that's why you don't hear the criticisms completely. Because it's like you're underwater. And that's coming like from the air. You, you're already in. You're already where you feel comfortable. You're down below. So what's happening above is not really able. You kind of hear it, but it's not really getting to you. Because you're so, you're doing you. You're so into what you're doing. You're working hard. You're busting butt. This week is a week of complete and total progress. This is the week. So this is upright energy. Work. Work is good for you this week. Whatever project you're working on is really good for you this week. This is your moment. This is definitely a sort of, if not public recognition, personal accomplishment. You've sort of, yep, I've wanted to get here for a long time and I've arrived. This is sort of some sort of professional or benchmark arrival in your life. Let me turn the camera around so I can review the cards with you. Hold on. All of this, all of this energy is extremely self-assured. And what it's really interesting is the absence of your Leo card. Either of the cards that represent Leo. So here's my hypothesis, Leo. This sense of self was actually bought upon by abandoning the ego. Which is actually what we do when we listen instead of speak. This is a sense of reception, being receptive this week, not re reacting, not being fiery, being very, very happy to be in the present moment, being very calm. I know that most people love these readings of, oh, this person's talking this about you and this person that that's really not what's coming through. What's coming through is a very strong and united sense of self. And what is coming through is yes. There will be some sort of criticism, some sort of chatter, but it's so, it's, it's almost like there's no way it could survive against how good you feel right now. Not yourself, 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 about what you're doing, about who you are, about what you're involved in. There's a really firm sense of who you are. There's a calm this week that says, listen, it doesn't matter if you think I stink. It doesn't matter what you think. What matters is how I interpret it. 
what matters is what I do with the information once it's been shared with me. And you know what you do, Leah? You turn it around, you twist it around. You find a way to make it work for you in a very clever Gemini way. How they are very good at, at, at being able to mold and, and sculpt with words. You'll be able to take other people's words and make them work for you. You'll find a way to use them in your life in a way that helps you make progress and continues on you and whatever you're building. This is a very beautiful energy. Let's see what, if you want, there's an extended reading. That link is below. Let's see what Tarot articulates. And then also, we're going to do a romance reading for the next seven days out. So Leo, I hope to see you there.